songs which he turns on to start each day. However, as a person who takes words literally, Ken has a problem with the lyrics of some holiday songs. Here to entertain us with a few of the troubling lyrics, please help me welcome Ken Smith with troubling holiday lyrics. Troubling holiday lyrics, Ken Smith. Sing you some lyrics and see if you can catch what I found to be wrong with them. Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king, Do you know what I know? In your palace, warm mighty king, Do you know what I know? A child, a child shivers in the cold, Let us bring him silver and gold. Let us bring him silver and gold. Fox, what's wrong with that? Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. The child's cold, bring him a damn blanket! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what good are silver and gold going to do that poor shiver child? Same with the wise men. Really wise. Bring frankincense, myrrh, things like that. That's not going to warm the kid up. Maybe a hot toddy might help a little bit. <laughs> Come on now. Let's bring the kid a blanket. Here's another. Andy Williams has a song called Happy Holiday. It's the holiday season, and Santa Claus is coming round. The Christmas snow is white on the ground. When old Santa comes to town, he'll be coming down the chimney down. He'll be coming down the chimney down. And what's wrong with that one? Besides, I didn't quite carry it. <laughs> we don't know that one. Really? Yeah. Let's hear it again. <clears throat> no. Happy holiday, happy holiday. May the calendar keep bringing happy holidays to you. Do you remember that part of it? No. no. <laughs> well, okay. My problem with the song, he'll be coming down the chimney down. He'll be coming down the chimney down. Now that's repeated in two other verses as the end of the verses. What's a chimney down? That's what got me. What's a chimney down? He'll be coming down the chimney down. Now I thought maybe it's the bottom part of the chimney or something like that, but I googled it. The only thing I can find for chimney down is a joke. What can't go up the chimney up but can come down the chimney down? What? An umbrella. Uh, if it's down, it can't go down. But if it's up, it can go up. But that has nothing to do with the song. What is a chimney town? I'm, this one drives me nuts. I can't quite figure it out. Another one. Didn't bother me when I was young, but it does now because of political correctness. All, Rudolph, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph play in any reindeer games. There's one, yeah, exactly. But another one is, in today's world, if, if classmates treated a kid that way, it'd be called bullying. Ugh. You don't bully people anymore. You don't do cyber bullying. You don't do any kind of bullying. Kids grow up totally protected and then are tossed into the real world where things aren't always going to go the way they, they were taught in school that things should go. Karen Carpenter and many others, Bing Crosby among them, have sung a song called first snowfall of the winter. And there's a line, oh, the, the, the last letter, oh, the first snowfall of the winter, the last snowfall of the year. Anything wrong with that? First and last on the same day. Hadn't thought of it that way, but that's mm -hmm. good. The first small snowfall of the winter 
the first snowfall of the year. The, the last snowfall of the year? No, it's the first. Oh. Did I say last? Yeah, yeah, I said last. No, it's the first in both cases. I, I apologize. No. Well, snow keeps falling until the springtime. I don't know. Well, winter in, on my calendar starts <laughs> December 21st. The year starts January 1st. But the first snowfall usually comes in November. So how can that be the first snowfall of the year? Unless, of course, you have a different year than January 1st. For example, the government starts on October 1st. That might work. But I think what really went on here was the lyricists were Toastmasters. <laughs> the Toastmaster year starts July 1st. There you go. Therefore, the first snowfall of the winter and the first snowfall of the year could be the same day. There you go. <laughs> so, anyway. But I, I am troubled by words that don't make sense. Now, this is just as true in song as it is in Toastmasters, as it is with people I know, friends on the street, people at work. Words have specific meanings, and they should mean what you want to say. I have several others, but I will save them for future speech. Just keep in mind that words have meaning, and if you're going to write a song that you're going to hopefully gain some, oh, come on, live forever. Um, that will last forever. I, I lost a word there. Write the words that will make sense. Mr. Doug. 